Good morning, welcome to day two. I forgot to end the vlog last night because we had meatballs and then jet lag hit us like a freight train. So we went to bed early, woke up around one o'clock after a ill-fated grocery trip where I did not know how to pay. Really had some problems there. Dylan. That's also fair. Literally. I actually am not sure, we're not sure if Dylan paid for toilet paper at all. So Swedish authorities, you've got a felon from America on your hands. But so we're just going for a walk. We're gonna head into Gamlestan and take a little lap. But we found this super cute overlook. So I figured I'd just kind of give you a little tour. But uh, it's it's actually like a beautiful day, even though it's March. So I'm pretty pretty happy with where we're sitting right now. So let me show you around. If you want me to explain where anything is, I can't do that. But <laughs> so yeah, that's. That's how this morning is going so far. We had our coffee, we'll probably find stuff for pastries, and away we go. All right, we just had lunch. I feel like we're all a little still jet lagged, but uh, behind me is the Royal Palace, so that's fun. I think we're gonna do a little tour, maybe? I don't know. Stop into the gift shop, but yeah, look how cool that place is. So, I don't know. We'll see what has in store for us. We we're gonna head over to the museum, see what happens. So, we'll take you along inside. Look at the ceiling. This'll do. We just left the Royal Palace, which was super cool. Hope you saw, I put some footage in there. Amazing, There's so many interesting things. We were in the throne room, which was so cool. Um, we're gonna head into the armory. No, the armory and the treasury next. So I'm gonna go see some crown jewels. Not sure I can film in there, but I'll film what I can. So uh, yeah, let's keep this party going. How cool is this? Five o'clock somewhere. It might not be five o'clock in Sweden, but it's close enough. It is in Moscow. Oh, you're right, it is, isn't it? Maybe. Well, Aperol Spritz outside, because it's surprisingly warm in this cute little... So we just had ourselves a lovely cocktail. It was happy hour. 
Uh, it was at this really cute cafe called um, Under the Chestnut Tree or something. I'll put the name of it down below. We're just strolling through Gamlestan. We took a tour of the palace, showed you some footage of that. But like the thing I love most about Sweden so far is like just walking down these cute little streets. Like I think there's just, there's nobody here right now. So uh, like, I know it's cold, but like late March, early April, I feel like is the way to go for coming to visit. So we're gonna go find ourselves, there's a little bar called Oh, jeez, yeah. Little piece of the US right here with me. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go find ourselves a little spot for a cocktail and then I kinda wanna see what else is out there for the rest of the afternoon, so who knows where we'll head next. How do you feel about this? Grog Blossom? <laughs> Isn't this bar so incredibly cool? I got a cocktail with a flower in it. There we go. This place is incredibly cool. So, we just finished having a cocktail, and we are going to go on a little sunset, I wouldn't say a hike, but it's really just a viewpoint. So, here, I figured I'd uh, let you see what we can see here. I figured I'd just uh, take a second, like just look behind me. So you've got, over there is City Hall, where the Nobel Prize dinner is held. Over there is Gamelstein, where we spent most of the day. Like, this place is incredible. Got a fun little boardwalk here. I don't know. I'm just really grateful. I lost Julia and Dylan along the way somewhere. I feel like Julia ran this way and Dylan ran the other direction, but this is a fun little trail. I can't even remember what it's called. I'll link it down in the description, but I don't know. This is super cool. What a way to end the first full day here. I know we're a little delayed with our trip and the flight cancellation and all that stuff, but I'm still I'm still really jazzed to be here. I feel like coming in a different time of year when it's less traveled, I feel like you get places all to yourself and uh, you know, you can enjoy something like this without a ton of people here. So I don't know, I'm gonna go see if I can find my friends and then we're gonna figure out something for dinner. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll take you along for the ride. All right, so later starts to the day than expected, but we are heading to this giant food hall. So I'm looking forward to getting something to eat and I'll take you around and see what we can find. I feel like we had a ton of fun last night after dinner. And so uh, I'll do my best to kind of share what I can and show you some of the highlights of today. So uh, let's, get a, let's get food hauling. I am out on my own. We had lunch a little bit ago and walked around. I am gonna be going to look for a pen and stationery store because why not, right? So I'll take you along and let's see what we can find.
So I really didn't want to film in the store because I was like, there's lots of people looking at me and stuff and I wanted to have an experience, but I got some footage, but I wanted to show you kind of what I got from the pen store, which, what a name, right? So first of all, I finally got myself some of these, uh, the dot markers. I got like a goldenrod color, a gray, and a blue. Pretty much my color scheme to a T, so we'll keep those. Um, I got this fun um, lettering uh, workbook, and it's kind of ironic because it's in Swedish, but at the same time, it's a good chance for me to actually like work on some of my lettering and get a little bit better with it, and then uh, try to figure out what it says half the time. So that'll be fun. And then the last thing is this cute little notebook folio here, and it just has a picture of Gamlestan, and there's like little notes on here, so it looks like somebody wrote it. And it says something about like traveling to a strange place, and I had a dream, and all this fun stuff, so super cute. That's kind of uh, the haul here. Not too bad, I think it ends up being around $50 for all of it, which is a little pricey, but I mean, it's my birthday gift to myself, so. After a little refresh, and a shower, and a beer, or two, we are gonna go to a concert. So Mimi Webb is someone that I like, and I've talked my two friends into going, they really didn't have a choice. Um, so we're gonna head down to, don't make me pronounce it, I don't know, uh, but we're gonna go see her in concert, and then who knows what other shenanigans will in store for the night. I'm probably gonna leave this hat camera here, so I'll cut clips in if I can from my phone, just because I know I will break or lose this, because that is the person I am, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, I will try to piece in some of it, obviously I have to, like, buff over it, but yeah, today's been fun, it's been low-key. We, uh, overall, I think we hit a lot, got to relax a little bit, I took a little jaunt over to the pen store, so, like, yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of fun and everybody's super friendly here, so see you later. small venue like we were so close to the stage and I don't know it was just really cool it was also in the basement of a high school uh, it was a it was like a very very different way of going to a concert um, but it was fun and she put on a really good show like she can sing her heart out and so I don't know I, I'll leave her Spotify stuff linked down below because she's amazing if you haven't heard of her um, yeah we are culinary people and we are foodies and that's why we got McDonald's for dinner. So it's over there, we did the takeaway. So now I'm gonna go enjoy my Big Mac chili thingy? I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up from here. I'll probably put these two days in one, so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching so far. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. The ABBA Museum, I think the Vasa Museum. And we're going to the symphony, I think. So, you stay tuned, more stuff to come. See you later.